How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about the unfortunate story of a 60-year-old black man by the name of Burnell Trammell, who was shot outside of his Milwaukee, Wisconsin shop called Expressions Journal just days after a confrontation over his vote Donald Trump 2020 sign. Now, this story is really deep. There's a whole lot to it. But first, I got to tell you a little bit about Mr. Trammell before we get into anything else. Now, he had been out there in the shop for like 25 years and he was very well known in the community. He was a community fixture. He would always be outside with some kind of sign. And most of his signs were biblically related. It would be, you know, scriptures and Bible quotes. And you're talking about the 12 tribes of Israel and Yahweh and stuff like that. He was known as a, a Rasta type guy. All right. In the community. They probably would know him as Ross Burnell and online. He may be known as Trammell, but out there in Milwaukee, he was known as kind of a, a, a Rasta, you know, street preacher talking about Jesus, talking about, you know, that type of thing. That's pretty much what he was on. And he had been like that for a very long time. People that live in that area would see him all the time. Sometimes he have Black Lives Matter signs. Sometimes it would be a political sign. He supported a black woman who was a Democrat earlier in the year, and he got heat for that. So he's just a guy that was always out there speaking his mind through his signs. That's what he was known for. That's what he did. Unfortunately, he was shot right outside of that shop that he had been at for at least the past 25 years. Now, before I go any further, let's roll some clips. You're going to see two clips from a blogger by the name of Adebisi Oguro, and his blog is the God degree. And I'll put a link to that through my link in the description box below. It'll be an article that I write for the videos and a section that says sources. It'll be right there. So you can read his article in full. It was fantastic. You got to read it. But these two clips you're going to see were recorded right before he was shot. I'm talking about two hours before this is what he had to say. You're going to hear him talk about why he was out there with the Donald Trump 2020 sign and also the confrontation over the sign. After we get done with that, I'll talk about what was said there. Then I'll give you my two cents, my deep detail analysis, and then I'll wrap it on up with a nice bow on top. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Okay, I am Bernal Tremel. I'm at my office at the Expressions Journal Publications. And I am encouraging Afro-Americans from all walks of life and culture here in Wisconsin, particularly here in Milwaukee, to vote Donald Trump for this uh, year, Trump 2020. Uh, I believe Trump is the sign of the times in which Afro-Americans, according to Yahweh, shot to the world, wickedly or eagerly calls Jesus Christ, told us that we discern the skies as far as weather and we're correct, but we're not as correct when it comes to the signs of the time. Now, the reason why I say Trump is the sign of the time is because Trump did something nobody has done, no president, black or white, has done from the White House. He took an Afro-American woman, a descendant of the slave, and took her all the way to the White House and gave her a position showing the whole world that the Afro-American woman, the descendant of a slave, has the intelligence to run his cabinet. And that was Amarosa in Trump's cabinet. Number two, what Trump did, again, why I believe he should be president, sign of the time, is he sat down with an Afro-American uh, that no president has ever done. It's uh, the United States of America, if any of y'all can remember the Dred Scott case. The Supreme Court told him he is to work and die. Trump sat down with KN West and had a real conversation and everything can be checked online. So that's my reason for bringing uh, the conscious, hopefully bringing the consciousness to Afro-Americans from all walks of life and culture to vote Trump. All right, you might've seen me on the avenues and the boulevards with my sign, vote Trump 22. And so Monday, uh, this last Monday, July, uh, I don't know, July 20 something, uh, an individual brother came on the front line. He had a sign that say sight. And he wanted to place this sign uh, next to me because he says I had black communities voice. I told him I was black, there's many more black 
and our voice is loud for Trump 2020. He stayed for about oh, an hour or so until I asked him to give me six feet. Uh, I told him I didn't want to get Corona. I told him that it was my business, the Express Journal publication and media. So eventually I had to leave and come back to the site. Uh, I thought it was really negative, but yet at the same time, maybe he really needed to do that to kind of get something off his chest. But overall, I got his message, which him saying, psych to vote for Trump because he was from the hard left, uh, Black Lives Matter or something. And I'm firm. Wisconsin, Afro-Americans, community, Afro-Americans from all walks of life and culture, vote Trump 2020. All right, so you saw that, you heard that now. Mr. Trammell got his points out very clearly. He was very well spoken, very well articulated. And people might try to dismiss him you know, those on the left, they might try to dismiss him. Oh, he was a street preacher. He was crazy. He was trying to fight people. That's why he got shot. No, 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 no. Obviously, that's not even his character. If you read the article about Mr. Trammell, the guy that wrote about him would see him every day. And, you know, he was always nice, always kind. And you can tell that's pretty much what he was about. All right. He spoke about the incident where him and the guy got into the little confrontation over the guy sign that said psych when he had the Trump 2020 sign and the guy was there for like an hour. So if he's trying to fight and trying to be aggressive and, you know, dealing with drugs and stuff like that, that wouldn't have been the case. He was like, Hey, need you give me six feet. I'm not trying to get the virus. Then he just went ahead and left. Okay. And then came back because he didn't want the confrontation or to have any kind of negativity. So, you know, get on his shoulders, very well spoken, very well articulated, much better, 1000%, a total 180 from these nut jobs on the left that want to get into your face and fight over nothing. Okay, so this guy is the real deal or was a real deal, unfortunately. And I don't know exactly who shot this man and took his life, but I mean, is it a coincidence that there was a confrontation over the Trump sign? I think it might've been this Monday and then Thursday, he's gone. He was shot in broad daylight right in front of his shop. Now, why would anybody want to shoot this man? Like I said before, he had been out there for a long time, 25 years. He was a staple in the community. He'd be out there every single day with some kind of sign, a different sign, whether it's a thumbs up, guns down, whether it's the Bible scriptures, the 12 tribes, vote for this person, vote for that person. So why would it take until now to have somebody do something to him? Okay, this, this is a nice old man. He's not trying to bother nobody. Why would you do anything to him? Is it a Donald Trump sign that took him over? I mean, I wouldn't necessarily be surprised if that were the case. I wouldn't be surprised. We've seen people get shot over their MAGA hats, over supporting Trump. Black folks, by black folks getting shot over Trump. That's not something that I would really be to you know surprise if that were the case it'd be unfortunate obviously it'd be crazy him passing away him being shot was just ridiculous to begin with but then for it to be over a trump sign that's even that that adds to the craziness that already exists you understand what i'm saying but one thing i will say is although we don't know exactly why he was shot we do know that somebody shot him we do know that he's not here anymore now, will there be the same level of outrage for this man that there is for other people? I mean, I got to bring up the elephant in the room. It's not, it's not disrespectful or nothing like that to bring up the elephant in the room, but we got to bring it up. People talk about Breonna Taylor and George Floyd and everybody else. Uh, who else? Amar Arbery, Trayvon Martin. They talk about them and they want to, you know, honor their name. They want to have multiple funerals and, you know, go out there. Black Lives Matter, hands up, don't shoot for them. But why? Is it because he get shot by a police officer? Well, that wasn't the case with Amal Albury or Trayvon Martin. Oh, well, the person appeared to be white or they appeared to be some kind of, you know, a pseudo authority figure, this, that, and the third. But what about this man here and his political points of view? It don't really matter. What if it were the other way around? What if it were a guy with an Obama sign that was shot and had their life ended because of that? I mean, would that not be a thing to go out there and rally and protest for?
it, this is really crazy. I just got to say, rest in peace to Mr. Brunel Trammell. Uh, hope your family and anybody that appreciated you being out there, anybody that loved you, anybody that would see you, anybody in the community, hopefully they're able to be able to heal and move forward in a positive direction. But these kinds of stories, I feel like kind of get buried by the media. People don't want to talk about the violence against Trump supporters. OK, Mr. Trammell lost his life, unfortunately. There have been many others that have had their lives ruined. People have had guns pulled on them, injured, seriously. You know, I, I saw one situation where I forgot what happened. I think a guy got stabbed. Yeah, a black guy got stabbed out there. It might have been in Portland. He's trying to protect the federal building. And then some Antifa dude, a guy that has abused children and got locked up for it, stabbed him. All right, he's in the hospital right now recovering. So shout out to him. I think his name is uh, the Black Rebel. Put that in the box if you guys want to send him some well wishes. But these things are happening right now and they get totally ignored by the media because we don't really fit the narrative. If somebody on their side gets hurt, then it's like this whole big story. You got documentaries and TV reports, all kind of stuff. It's just ridiculous. And I think Americans are starting to understand what's going on, that your life only really matters if you fit a particular political narrative or if you fit in a certain ideological or identical box. All right. You got to check all these check marks. You got to be leftist. You got to be black. You got to be LGBTQ, ABCDFG. If you don't check those check marks, your life is unimportant. That's pretty much what's going on. Even those that are out there on the left, these foot soldiers, if a white Antifa member dies, then they don't really care about that. Maybe to talk about it for some kind of uh, sympathy points. But at the end of the day, as I close, only certain lives matter. This whole Black Lives Matter thing, we all know was a farce by this point. There's no sense in me even belaboring that point. We all know what's a farce. It's not real. If Black Lives Matter, what about all the black folks that have had their lives affected because they're a Trump supporter or had their lives ended or been seriously injured? What about them? How about the little kids that have been shot over nothing? Just for being little kids, not even out there in a political way, just trying to go home, trying to play basketball, sleeping. What about them? Their lives are unimportant. The only lives that matter when it comes to Black Lives Matter are those that are politically expedient. And people like Mr. Trammell, unfortunately for them, are not politically expedient. But for a guy like me, his death is a thing that I can't ignore. It's egregious, it's sad, it's terrible. And if anybody out there has any information in Milwaukee, please call the police. Let them know what's going on. Give them a tip. Give them a lead so they can have some closure in this man's death. Because as of right now, it's an unsolved case. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about the media ignoring cases like Mr. Trammell? How do you feel about people that may happen to be conservative, may happen to vote Trump, or just think differently. I don't even know if Mr. Trammell was conservative. He's just a guy that walked to the beat of his own drum and thought differently. How are men like this, people like this in general, treated in society? Not very well. Am I wrong with anything I'm saying? Have I missed anything in my particular video today? Whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I gotta say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.